Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do animation for this bike here. And as you see, I have everything is just ready, materials and environment and everything. You can go watch the previous video to see how I just added these materials and how I just did this setup. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to need is, let me just first enable the hotkey here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into add and camera. So I have here the camera called 001 and here is it. Okay, so I'm gonna press the control and zero on the numpad. So that's the camera that activated now. Okay, now the shift and accent grave to activate the fly mode here. And with the WASD, I can move. I can press the Q to go down and E for going up. Now I'm gonna get a view that I want it. Let me, let's say I just need it to be like that from here. And the perspective for this camera, we go to this object data and just need edit the focal lens to be maybe 40 and the shift accent grave again and I'm gonna just zoom in a little okay so this is the camera one here so I'm gonna press on it and press the M key while I'm just standing with the mouse on this timeline and then control P so now the camera is here this is the camera number one and let's say I'm just gonna add another camera Control zero, shift axis engrave, and let's say I need to start from here. Okay, the focal lens for it maybe 41 also, and zoom a little. Okay, so this is the other camera. I'm gonna go into it later. Let's first go to the camera number one again and press the, the control and zero to activate it. And from here, I'm gonna enable the auto key. All right, so I have here the start and the end of the timeline I need. So it's from the zero to 100 frames per second. So I'm gonna maybe increase it to maybe 200. Okay, now activate the auto key. Now I'm just going to press the shift accent grave again from this camera and do just a little movement. So the key is just added here. Now I'm going to move a little until here, maybe on the frame number 30 and press the accent grave again shift axe engrave and the frame need, I need to be stopped here okay so when I just hold this timeline and back you're gonna see it's doing this movement but it's just not like I want it so I'm gonna press the axe engrave again shift axe engrave from the zero and tell him that I want to start this frame from here okay so when I just move the timeline you're gonna see it's now fix it this is the movement that I wanted let me just start it manually okay so that's cool maybe I need I can control when you go to the item and check out the green color here it's mean this is not the keyframe that I just selected when I just stand on exactly on the keyframe here you can see it's turning into yellow 
So this is exactly the keyframe that I added. This is the original position for it. So when I'm just standing here, I'm going to press the shift X engrave again to edit if I just need to do an edit or something. Maybe I want it to stop like that. And I'm going to go back. So you're going to see now it's stop it like I want it. Okay, so this is the camera number one. Maybe changing the camera from here. So I'm going to stop at the 32 frame and go to the camera number two and press the M while I'm standing on the timeline here and control P. So this is the camera number two started from the frame 32 and what I'm going to do here is just while activating this auto key, press the shift, accent brave, move a little and do a keyframe. Now it's added. Now I can just make another keyframe here, maybe like that. Okay. And I'm going to move until maybe 60 and shift accent grave and maybe stop here. Okay, so let's go back and you're going to see it's starting from here until here. And this is the camera number two. If I go back, it's going to change the camera to the camera number one. So you're going to see it's starting from here to here and jumping into the camera number two and get into the last frame here. So let me just start it. This is the movement that we have. I can right click on the async mode, make it ease in and out. So it's maybe gonna be a little smoother. And you have also the interpolation mode. So it's may, you can change it from here. Let's see what this do. So this is the elastic. This one. Okay, you have multiple options to choose. I just need it to be linear for now. Okay, I can add an, another keyframe from here, shift, accent grave, go back here and apply. So it's gonna add it. And from here to here, shift, accent grave. So this is the animation that we just did. We can make it turn around the bike, shift X in grave and get into here. Make this free amazing mode. He's in and out. And here also he's in and out.
shift act in grave again. Now I need another camera to be on the top of the bike. So what I'm gonna do is add camera control zero shift X in grave and I'm going to get this up top view let's just back a little Okay, this one and I'm gonna press the M and control P so this is the first frame of the camera number three and it's move a little until maybe 160 or 70 and shift axis engrave go until we get here okay let's see the results and until here shift X engrave and I'm gonna flip it Okay, now we're gonna see what it did. What did it happen? Now I flip, boom, we got the last frame here. However, I needed to be just going back slowly, so I'm gonna just increase the number of frames here a little. And shift X engrave. Like this. And you can edit this with the slow motion or the montaging software. So this is what we got in this short video on how you can add the materials and on how we can add animation to any model we have. Let's just turn off the audio keying and start the animation. Okay, let me do some trick here so I need to turn off the light since the start of the animation so to start here I'm gonna press on the light and make sure you just activating the auto keying so the light first I'm gonna double click on it get to the material properties and add a keyframe and I need it it's now 43 so I'm gonna make it zero this is the first one and go a little until here and make it 43 again alright so if I just go to here you're gonna see the light is turning off and then turning on here
let's say I needed to just turn on quickly and turn off and then turn on again so I'm gonna stop here on number five or number four shift or no, I'm gonna just press on this keyframe, activate it and make it maybe 70. And just go a little until nine and zero or number one. And again, another five frames and 70 and zero or maybe four or something then seventeen and the last thing is going to be thirty four forty three so let's see if you just focus on the light here you can see what's happening just closing the distance so it's going to be faster okay now we can press save to save this render and maybe you're going to go to the GPU viewport shading to see the final results so now it's starting from the zero and you're gonna see it's a little bit darkness here and then light open and close and open again and just flickering until this frame and then it's just turn it on here and as you see it's gonna be 43 it just stopped at the 43 we just choose. Okay, so this is for this tutorial on how to make animation for something on the blender. This is the easiest way I could have explained on. So I hope you just enjoyed and learned something. Thanks for watching.